Hi everybody, I'm James Dickey, but you gotta call me Mr. Dickey. I grew up in Galveston, and I've taught mathematics at Ball High School almost forever. Especially I've taught geometry and pre-calculus, but that's not what's important. What's important is I get to be your geometry teacher this year. In geometry, we'll talk bunches about triangles and rectangles and trapezoids and circles and such. During class, I'm gonna act like these are the most important things in the world. But the truth is, that's not what geometry is really about. It's not about those circles and trapezoids. We just use the circles and trapezoids and triangles and rectangles as a vehicle as we build a logical axiomatic system. Truly, and this is important, geometry is just an exercise in logic. We will become logicians, one who studies logic this year. I've taught geometry for decades and now I'm semi-retired. I only teach the first four periods of every day, just one through four. I don't have any classes at five, six, seven, or eight. I really love the course geometry, and I hope I can instill an appreciation of geometry in you. I'm convinced that you only get out of school what you put into school. Let's put in the effort to do a really good job this year, and, and you'll grow to appreciate geometry like I do. The first semester of geometry covers a little bit of logic, parallel lines and equations of lines, parallel and perpendicular, and then triangles and their parts and corresponding parts of congruent triangles, and then specialized quadrilaterals, rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. And then in the second semester, it gets really interesting. In the second semester, we'll cover right triangle similarity, tons of ratios and proportions, right triangles with trigonometry, circles and all the attributes of circles and tangents to circles, and then area of interesting polygons and, and, and groups of polygons. And then we'll also cover surface area and volume of solids. I have some solids hanging from a ceiling over here. We will deal with the, the volumes of similar solids. That's like the most interesting part of the year to me. But for now, we, we're going to start the year. The things that you will need, a folder with pockets and lots of paper and a pencil, and a straight edge first. I'll, I'll be using my straight edge when I work in front of you, and I'll, I'll use it all the time. I wouldn't come to school without it. Have a straight edge when you work with your geometry class. A calculator will be helpful in the first semester, but you don't really need it. It'll be necessary in the second semester. When you get that calculator, you're gonna want one with a sine, cosine, and tangent button, and an inverse button as well. And then we can really do great mathematics in the second semester. Each six weeks, we have to have 10 homework grades got to be homework because we get working in the school, but we'll have 10 homework grades and then we'll have two quizzes. Those homework grades will count 30% of each six weeks average and the two tests that we'll take will be 70% of each six weeks average. The, this class might be more demanding than some of your friends' geometry classes, but since you and I agree that you only get out of school what you put into school, I think it'll be worth the effort and we'll make it, make it valuable to you to, to, to spend the time doing this well. Good communication is really important to our success. I think email ought to be our primary way to go. I'm James Dickey at GISD.org, and I know we can use Zoom also. I, I had seven Zoom meetings this morning, and I got into six of them just great, but one of them I couldn't get into it no matter what. So sometimes Zoom is hard to work with. I don't want to be dependent upon Zoom. I know that we can communicate via email at jamesdickey at gisd.org. I will check my email frequently and respond promptly. We can also communicate through the comments section at Canvas where your assignments are turned in. You will turn in all your work to me through Canvas. At Canvas, I can rotate it and enlarge it and get a good look at your work and I'll do a good job of grading it. Let's agree to turn our work in at Canvas. That's important. So don't put your work off. We've got to get a couple of assignments in every week, and that'll build toward a test after about three weeks. If you work up to that, we'll have an hour and 40 minutes. If you spend up to an hour and 40 minutes, I know that you can get everything I demand from you done. Now, I, after this, I wish you would look at assignment one, which is a little four-question multiple-choice quiz about the syllabus, about the things I was just talking to you about. You answer those at Canvas. It's multiple choice. And then you, 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 that'll be our first grade. So do that well. And then please, I'm going to make the next video, also for the first day of school,
Then this next video will be about intersection and union, and then I'll have a little assignment for you about intersection and union. I'll see you and do that soon. That's all for now.